Hello everyone, this is Vistra with Paper Seasoning and today I am working in my gardening journal. I do have um, somewhat of a mistake, more so a tip um, to put in my journal. So I purchased a mosquito net and I'm waiting for it to come in because something has been eating my bok choy. We my daughter and I, we did uh, harvest some, and I started some more, and um, something um, just chewing it up. It's just, just ravishing it. So, um, I did purchase some Sevens dust, and I sprinkled on it late evening yesterday. And I got up early this morning and sprayed it off. So I'm hoping that will help because um, it's on a lot of my plants. It's like um, my morning glories I know was eaten and it has the little holes in it. And um, like I said, the bok choy. Then um, in front, it is some morning glory up there that has been eating on I do have some spots on my cucumbers that really needs um, tending to, and I'm hoping that uh, I sprayed some kind of fungus disease control on it to see if that would help. Um, and it did. Um, some spots was on Zianas, uh, just like three of my Zianas, and um, two peppers that I have. I saw some some like the black spots. So. Uh, I did spray those with um, some fungus disease. So my tip is to make sure that I use the sevens dust to combat those um, a little bit earlier than what I did this time. So I am going to put that into my journal. I should capitalize that. Okay, so that is the tip for me this time. I need to remember that. Um, oh, I forgot what disease control I did. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put that in here, though. Okay, um, now this is where I am, and did I make my flower bed behind my craft room window? No, I did not, and the reason is I started, and when I started digging, we found that they, some, they must have had a flower bed back there already, because when I started digging, I found bricks, like a line of bricks. It was like three in a row just lined up. And so um, to dig those out, it was like a, it would leave like a big trench and I would have to refill that with dirt to kind of build it up because it's right back behind the house. If I did not fill it up right away, then it would just be like a little ditch trench back there and I did not get the Japanese maple tree the reason man that thing was forty dollars I seen one somewhere else about the same size for eighty four dollars 
I don't want a large one. I just want to start off with a small one so I can train it um, to grow kind of how I would like it to grow. I don't want it to grow towards the house. It's going to be right outside. So I want it to kind of lean towards the driveway area. Now, um, the limelight hydrangea, I did get the limelight hydrangea. And that is going to be the first thing I talk about today because I did get that limelight hydrangea. Um, let me cut this off. So here it is. I did purchase two. They were really expensive. I find that I um, am more so going to the store to purchase clearance items more so than regular priced item. This time I did splurge because I really wanted this limelight hydrangea. Um, I wanted it really healthy. Um, so I did purchase two. And it's out front. And I will try to, if you look at a, the other video that I have posted, then you would see that limelight hydrangea. So that is going in here because I did get it. Let me get that started. Grab that. I um I'm still going to um keep an eye out for the um Japanese maple because I really would like that and once um, you start planting I have found that I um, tend to not have room I, I started off thinking I had enough room for everything I think I'm a no I'm a, I'm trying to decide where do I want it I think I'm gonna just go ahead and put it here so that I can write about it. I always, I'm always self conscious about writing on video while I'm on video because I'm thinking oh well you know I will miss something for is uh, spelling or punctuation <laughs> and I just throw caution to the wind well if I do oh so be it if I you know if it's it is what it is I'm not going to concern myself um, with what other people will say oh well you you know you the as you say, the punctuation police or whatever. I'm, I'm just not going to concern myself. I do know how to write, but sometimes um, when I'm on camera, for some reason, I tend to get a wee bit nervous. Because I want my video to come out really nice. And um, so, sometimes I'm just, you know, aware that I am videotaping and... <laughs> I get a bit nervous when it comes to writing. Okay, so, yes, this is the price of that Limelight Hydrangea. And I did buy two. And like I say, it was like a spurred, splurge, a gift to myself. And um, I'm okay with it. I Like I say, I do find myself more shopping on the clearance part now, because this little flower here came off the clearance part. It was $4. You'll see that in my other video as well um, about the garden tour when you see that garden tour video. So that's there. And now the next thing that I've done is uh, put in these rain barrels. Because I was going out watering the garden and I said, okay, something has to give. I did have a water drainage problem because I'm on a hill. So when the water comes off, I didn't want it to make a trench. So I did install the two rain barrels. And um, 
I do use the water from those to um, water some parts of the garden. So I am going to put this one over here on this side. Let's see, will it fit? It will. I do need like two more rain barrels for the back side of the house. Uh, majority of my garden is in the back. So I had to get a long hose to reach back there. And um, since my front yard is on a slope and there's really nothing in the front yard, it's just grass. Um, I really want to put a garden bed somewhere in the front so that it wouldn't look so plain. Okay, so, um, oh, I did purchase two. And so, got those done, and... Let's see here. Since I have this little space here, I did want to fill it with something. And I think I'm going to try to use some washi tape if I can. I think I used that washi tape last time. Let's go with this one. I haven't used this. I have not just to give a little like accent underneath here and I would like an accent right here um let's see I'll use this if I can find the opening. There it is. This is so cute. This washi tape right here. Oh my. I absolutely love it. How gorgeous is that? Super gorgeous. I love that that orange really pops in there okay so that is what I have done thus far and I um, have another picture that I wanted to document I purchased these flowers um, I think this is a elephant ear I forgot I forget what this one is. And this is um, Monstera. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not for sure. Uh, but it is going in my journal. Because I did purchase some house plants. And I absolutely love them. They are so gorgeous. They are growing so nicely. Uh, I purchased them on a... I went to a trip. Uh, taking my daughter to... Mississippi for school for summer school um, and on the way back it was a place in Tennessee called Four Seasons Nursery I stopped there they didn't quite have what I was looking for and on up in um, another place I stopped it 
they did. It was a beautiful nursery. I forget the name. I wish, wish I knew what the name of it was, but I, right now it, I'm baffled. So, um, I can't think of the name of that nursery, but I was able to get that one for 14 and the other two was 20. So that was a great price because they are absolutely huge now. And I do want to write about it, but I need some paper and I do not have it. Uh, let's see, where can I get some? Should I use a journal card? Um, I could use a journal card that one but this yellow one was kind of cute what was on the front uh, no I use that one this one will work just fine this house plants will work or two I'm gonna use it as two um Okay, so let's see. I don't know if this thing really um, works well or not, um, but I'm going to put it there and I might put a, I have a net in here. Um, and let's see, I want some washi tape around it. So, to make sure that it stays, so I'm going to see about putting some washi tape. Oh, that's cute, but it's not for this one. <laughs> that's terrible. Okay. Oh, what? I don't know. understand what is going on with, oh, that's what's going on with this washi tape because it's, it has a backing, so I put it on like that. Um, I'm going to cut it here and right here and get this section out. And see if I can get this backing off so that I can stick it down. I don't know if it'll look good on this black background. It'll probably look better on a white background, but it's there now, and it will stay there. Okay, and the next thing, you guys, so um, I grew this huge onion, not on purpose. What happened is a lot of times when we're in the kitchen, if we have vegetables or something, we always composting. So we chop the bottom part of the onion and the top part, and then we'll chop the onion up and eat. So the bottom part was in the compost, and when I did my, my garden bed, we put everything in the in the garden bed and kind of covered it up. It This started peeking out through the uh, cover because we, we put the fabric over the uh, dirt the soil so I thought that it, it was just coming back up and I was just gonna leave it and not worry about it until it started getting larger and larger and larger and and then I said well you know it's getting too big let me just go ahead and pull it out and when I pulled it out it was an onion attached to it I was shocked that um that uh, onion you know came up out of that um, so that's the purpose of this, uh, picture here was the fact that I grew an onion unintentionally. So that is going to, 
be here. I'm gonna leave that little mistake. Um, so let's see. I received some stickers, and I'm hoping that I can use them somehow. Here. Let's see. Do I have an onion sticker? here I purchased these off of Ali so I'm just going to put that there for that and I want to add something else here I'm not sure what but it seems as if it needs something. I'm going to just put a little bit of washi tape right there. Uh-oh, I'm not getting it. There. Okay, and I have all of this from seeds, the people that sent me, that I purchased seeds from, they sent um, their cards and things, and the packaging, oh, let me tell you about this. Okay, so I saw on YouTube this man growing a dado pepper. So, I really wanted a dado pepper. Um, I ordered the seeds and everything. I started with like probably 10 seeds in the little uh, paper. I put them in a paper towel, put moistened it, put it in a Ziploc bag, and hung it in the window. I waited uh, probably three days, and I did not see any germination from these plants whatsoever. So, um, I waited two more days. I saw one or two forming, um, some type of, you know, starting out. Um, so I put though, I just went ahead and put some in the cups with the, with the soil. So I planted some in the cups. I am worried that the seeds are not going to grow, but hopefully I only wanted to get like two or three dado peppers out of this. Uh, pack and I'm kind of worried that I may not get it and I really really wanted this dado pepper so I am going to put this here and well actually since I have nothing on this page I might just put this on this page and speak about that dado pepper no I'm going to use this page because it's more of a yeah I use this page that way I can like do a fold over or can I use this page I might use this page yeah 
I use this page here. And I don't mind that it sticks out a little bit. That's fine. Um, and I want it somehow where I can flip it. So I will use some washi tape to hold it. And would you believe that out of all the washi tape, I don't have one that I really like to use right here. Oh, uh, I use this one. I'm trying not to cover up the lettering on the other side. And that way I can flip it up and speak about I'm going to reinforce it on this side so it will be extra reinforced. Just an extra hold there. There, and, okay, so, um, this one, I forget where I purchased this from. I know I purchased it online. I think I have it in a video, but, um, the fact that she did, she did do a good job putting thank you and everything on it, and I like it, but, um, it would have been nice to have her brand. So, see, since I keep it, I need to know who was, you know, what, what company it was, what business it was that I received this from. So, I will probably have to look that up. So, it's good to always, when you're um, selling stuff, to make sure you um, put your names and everything on it so that if people go across your card or whatever then uh, they could remember who you are because I can't remember it, it will be a while um, purchasing seeds again probably next year before I purchase more seeds I want to put this on here as well because um, I did get some seeds from here. I get I got quite a bit of seeds and I can look them up there on um, Etsy. So I have a couple of they make sure to put their cards in. And let's see, I can do this one. I purchased uh, quite a bit of seeds from this person. I'm going to cut some of this off. And place that here. I 
and this is just some places that I've purchased seeds. Let's see. Do I have anything to decorate? Because I put everything that I was going to use to decorate. I tried to put it in one spot. And all of these have fallen out. <laughs> so let's see what's in here. No. Um, what I'll do I have in here hmm. oh this butterfly is cute I would love to just put that right there um I don't see anything here. Look at that. Uh, the, the one that says Wildflower Sea Pack. I like that. Um, it's too big, though, for me to put it on here. Like this says bloom and grow. I put this closer to the butterfly. Bloom and grow there. And I think that's all. I don't see anything else here. Put some stickers on here. And actually, I'm thinking I'm going to take this off. <laughs> if I could take it off without messing up. There. Okay. It's all done now because um, that was kind of, mm, it just didn't, it didn't flow well with me. There, I think that would do it. Yeah, I think that got it.
Okay, so I have um, this, and I think I'm going to put it right here. Because that, um, the fact that that onion grew <laughs> kind of surprised me. I'm kind of um, really excited about it. And this just so happens to be the perfect size for this tape. Now I got to see if I can get the backing off. Okay. It's the little things in life. Alright, so I did quite a bit of in my journal today. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, journaling video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, bye-bye.